want to follow up. Uh, Johanna is in Berlin. Jamie, I believe, is here in New York. So it, it's mostly a hands-on. Here, this is just a very impromptu follow-up. Uh, Johanna <laughs> is in Berlin. Jamie, I believe, is here in New York. So that's, sorry, that's the echo. So um, Johanna, I don't know if you want to give a brief, uh, Hold on, somebody's trying to. Somebody's trying to enter the Zoom. Um, all right, so, Johanna, do you want to add anything else for Jamie before we get started? Just thank you. This is really exciting, and I can't wait. Yeah, thanks for inputting your, thank you, Jamie. I don't know if you're in New York City, but it looks very green. Uh, upstate. Oh, nice, nice. All right, so I'm gonna share my screen and we're gonna start with Leslie Dan. All right, so I'll probably need permission to share my screen. And I just wanna start saying that seeing the truth and giving it a name makes things real. So I think this is part of what this process is into what is our truth and what is our personal identity all about. So I'm going to start, right? Okay, so I have to, and okay, so now you have, you have permission, Johanna, or whoever oh. is having the Nobody's Fashion Week. Yes. To share. Right, so right, so, so, so okay, so Johanna is gonna be sharing what we're looking at on the screen. And if you don't feel comfortable, um we're broadcasting, so I'm gonna lower Johanna, my... is your is your phone on with the live stream? Yes. You might want to mute your phone somehow, or I think that might be causing it because everybody else is muted. Yeah, let me see if I put the headphones on. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good point, me too, because... Um, Johanna, I've been muting you. All right, so... All right. Is that better? Great. All right, so we're gonna start with Leslie. Hello. Hi, Leslie, do you wanna tell us where you are? I'm in Brooklyn. Great, great. Um, all right, so we can also do some of this in Spanish as well, if you feel like it. <laughs> so you want me to say about my slide here? Well, let's... Let's look at, let's look at it. I can read it. Okay, okay. If you would like me to read it, or if you want sure. to. Read it. Right, so uh, your code. So it says, something that I love to do, learn about my family history and make connections with the past that are impactful today. Aprender sobre la historia de mi familia y hacer conexiones con el pasado que tienen impacto hoy. Something that I like about myself, my curiosity to learn from others and then to share what I've learned. Mi curiosidad para aprender de otros y luego compartir lo que he aprendido. Something from my history that I would like to bring along with me. Where I grew up in the country gave me clean air, calmness and beauty from nature that I always want with me even in the city. Donde crecí en el campo me dio el aire puro, la tranquilidad y la belleza de la naturaleza que quiero conmigo siempre, incluso en la ciudad. So I see a couple of images and also notice that I am in this code as well, a photo from when I visited you upstate. So what's really the first thing that is coming to mind in your map is that your photo 
you are facing like your back is facing like you're not facing forward so when 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 you're with your friends in this photo when i visited your the the hometown that you grew up which is can i say where it is sure which is corning new york um where the iphone glass is originally made <laughs> and developed um, because that's part of your history that you grew up in this town that has a lot of design but so when you're with your friends you're facing forward your family i don't know if this is your parents wedding grandparents grandparents wedding uh, is that in Corning as well? No, that was in Delaware. Delaware. So I feel that similar to Mario, when we look at Mario's photo, there's a, there's a gap because I know you're there. So you make, you do film. Any thoughts into what you're not facing forward? Uh, well, I don't, I don't know if I, when I did this, I was thinking that the photos were going to be psychoanalyzed per se, <laughs> but, and they were kind of the photos I had on hand. <laughs> um, but you're right. I mean, I wanted, I was trying to find a photo of myself um, that I know I have of me interviewing someone on, you know, at a, at, on camera. Um, when I conducted an interview, it was a better photo, but this was the middle one is the only one I could find. Um, but I think in that point, though, that for me, it's more important, my subject and not me. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the fact that I was speaking to a person who was very different culturally from me and opened my mind a lot in that specific interview is important to me. Yeah. Um, also, something that this photo says is that your husband is there. He is. Yep. Yep and we work together but you're the boss <laughs> <laughs> you're forward you're behind the scene but you're leading mm -hmm. and uh also Les leslie did a beautiful project um around um the slavery in the hudson valley uh and it's a film project you're a filmmaker um in i I think that's Malik in the back, right? That is Malik, yeah. That is Malik. <laughs> so, um, is, um, what I like about this photo, which I almost will want to see it from the other angle, mm -hmm. to see you come forward, is that you are the in-between. And, mm -hmm. and I feel that's also how you lead, that you lead from a point of, um, of softness, but also of strength. So I would like to see photos. I, I, it is, it's just a suggestion that show you. Um, and also what I also love, I think out of all the photos, that's the one that is stronger is because it also has a technical aspect, the production aspect of, of what you do, like it's showing here uh, the, the, the second uh, monitor, um, all the gear, all the people around you. It's also a diverse environment. You're bilingual. So yeah, there's like a lot of action around you. And another thing is that you are in the center. Very, it's like almost blurry, but you are in the center of, of everything that is happening. <laughs> So, um, um, what are you looking for in your personal brand? Um, well, you know, now's the time when everything seems like it's gone upside down and <laughs> we have to expand and think about as many options as possible to keep working. Yeah. And, um, you know, I could go back into design work and UX work like I did with you. I could mm -hmm. go more into this film work if we could get the work, which we'd like to. So I'm trying to right now start a new website and, you know, how are we going to promote ourselves? I, I, I hear you. And with the website, you know, it could, because it's kind of a mishmash of 
we could focus on, we definitely want to focus on the filmmaking work, but then I'm going to probably need my own website to focus on me. So it's those kind of questions of, is it one website with everything or separate websites? Am I, you know, yeah. Um, separate or part of a bigger thing? How do I sell myself in that way? Um, so big beauty of the whole thing is that you do a lot of things. So mm -hmm. you have many, many skills. So, um, and also from this mood board, what's coming through is your sense of community mm -hmm. and your sense of togetherness, like even with your family, having this like wedding photograph um, and also this photo with your friend, with me <laughs> and the perspective. Um, I feel that this sense of how you can bring all these worlds together could be served on a personal website and a personal website that has all your skills, but that you as the center. So basically you as the center here, bringing all the skills, bringing all the people together, speaking about that. And obviously with a photo that you face forward in the middle. And maybe that shows all the action because maybe a photograph that is you by yourself will not communicate really what wow. you're all about, which is you're an amazing producer. You're also an amazing designer. And, and, and Lee, it, you know, VP, vice president level of you've been around the industry for, for over 25 years in the design industry. So I think just bringing that togetherness and bringing that softness and that uh, attention to detail and care that you bring with everything you do um, will be important in, I think your website could do really well. Um, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I love, thank you. It's uh, being your friend and also seeing this mood board. And I think we can go a lot deeper because um, you also do documentary. So, um, you know, this element here of the vintage photograph and the element of the fall, which is really like things getting old, they, I feel that they go hand in hand with your approach of how um, you work with the, I don't want to call it an aging process, but with when things span over a long time and those cycles. So I'm excited for you and I'm excited for this new phase because I know you do a lot of really amazing things all the time. So you and your husband work who, who's also very talented and very inspiring, both of you. Thank you, Jana. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to see who will want to go next. Hi, Andrew. <laughs> Let's see where I'm trying to look at the, where the, my Zoom is. My controls. Hello. Okay, I see them here. So who will want to go next? Brave soul. Me, Barbara. Okay, Barbara. Barbara is <laughs> from Costa Rica. All right. So I'm going to Share my screen again. Hey, where are you, Barbie? Here you are. All right. So, um, could I read your map? Yes, please read it. All right. So, Barbara Cuevas, Biques code. So, so you said. Textile makes media for fashion. That's what you love to do. Um, textile applique para, para obra gris. So that's the label that you work for. A, what you like about yourself. My capacity of being honest but still being empathic. No makeup. <laughs> you like that you don't wear makeup. And the thing that you want to bring further into the future um 
is my mother's passion for art and dance. I never forget her dream. So I think what really stops from, from this image is the green over here in, in Obra Gris, which is a label started by a fellow artist and friend, Oscar Ruiz Schmidt in, in San Jose. So, so I love how you're able to come through in this illustration. And, but really the color, just like boom. Um, also, your total strengthness and directness into the camera, and also all the colors that are happening around you. It's, it's very alive but also very stoic, like all this chaos is happening in your choices. You can be very playful, but it's very, you're very clean, very clear. Um, and the resemblance with your mom. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, well, my mother recently just got accepted to, you're listening to me? Yeah. Yes. Um, well, when she got pregnant of, um, of me when she was like 19 and her dream was to become a dancer. And right now this year, uh, like two weeks ago, she got accepted in the dance school. So, you know, like she's 45 and she finally got accepted and she's fulfilling her dreams. So it's for me right now, it's very encouraging to see her, you know, like really uh, fulfilling her dream. And she always has this passion for art. And it's a fun fact that the photo was taken by my father, who now became a, a photograph and also like, likes to make like cinema uh, after also <laughs> 27 years that I have, because both of my parents like left their dreams apart for me. Uh, and right now they're like fulfilling. So like, I feel like I, we all have this connection, you know, with art and design and, you know, being creative. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so, um, if I could ask you, I'm trying to hear you on the screen, but for some reason, I couldn't show I couldn't show you hand in hand with your mood board. Um, okay. So, I guess my question is like, where's your sense of play in your personal brand? Yeah, well, it's, I have the same situation of, Le of Leslie because <clears throat> right now I'm working in graphic design. And I have worked in many fields of the design areas, uh, like interior design, website design, I don't know, a bunch of different areas. So for me, it was very hard to find like my own voice. And I'm like, you know, like trying to find it because that's what I like, you know, like a lot of colors and be playful, but clean, you know, that's what is very interesting you would notice because with the time I realized like, okay, maybe that's my style because sometimes they, a lot of designers or friends tell me like, okay, which is your style? And it's like, I don't have like a, like in a specific style because I love to work with different designers. In case with Oscar, that illustration is for a uh, local artist that I have to transform into the textile. So, you know, I have like the skill to like translate other people's work in different, uh, you know, like, appliques or even in websites or whatever, uh, you know, design uh, material you need. So it's very hard for me because I, I still like find it. Um, but I think the colors or, or the prints are still, are gonna be with me forever. So I'm trying to like incorporate that into maybe a website <laughs> because I need like to sell my <laughs> skills <laughs> in some point and I don't have a portfolio. Uh, so recently I started to do in one and it was very hard because I have many different uh, projects, also like social projects within local entrepreneurs. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's a bunch of stuff. So I have the same problem. You're like, I don't know what, what things to put and what things like, oh no, maybe this is not going to, you know, like be necessary for people to understand. But also it's like, okay, but has this other part that I work with. So 
it's hard but i'm like in that <laughs> exploration too yeah um are you open to some thoughts and some in like because what's coming to me right now is as you're mm -hmm. talking there is this illustration there's the illustration in the dress there's a mm -hmm. pattern on the dress of your mom there's like mm -hmm. all the exuberant green then there mm -hmm. are like all the all the flyers behind you mm -hmm. so it almost seems that connected that you make the connection with leslie but also mm -hmm. your face is so like right now you're wearing makeup and no, no way, makeup. Just the light. <laughs> it's like too. It's too white. But you're wearing. Oh yeah, only my yeah, only my lips. It, it's right. because I fight so many years with makeup because I have like a neck, like an allergy in my skin. So I okay. use makeup for many years, and I, right now I I have like four years of not using makeup. So for me, it's very important because it's like really accepting me. You know, I fight with that also <laughs> so it was very hard for me to stop using makeup like okay i don't care if you see my skin and that's it you know and or maybe just uh you know lipstick and that's it but i i don't like to use a lot of makeup because i use it since i was a teenager so yeah i just <laughs> end up with that and also people always says like oh you're too honest you know i don't want to hear that <laughs> so that's why i keep like uh realizing that honesty is an important part of me also my mother said like you know being honest but you know not like rude like being you know empathic with the other person but being uh, sincere you know like maybe you should do this or you know like more like a recommendation to um, so, so what, yeah it's that's mm -hmm. so the thought that is really coming to me as i as we chat further is that mm -hmm. you're like blah, 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 blah. You know, there's so much information, there's so many things, there are the patterns, there's the applique, there's the graphic design, there's simplicity. Girl, you're not simple. Go, yeah. go, <laughs> I would say there's so much richness and right now, and this is similarly to a conversation that we had in the original session, in the, in the session last week, which is, you know, somebody was trying to make their board chaotic but they were with order. I believe it was Kelly. I feel mm -hmm. like everything has to go on your website. I don't think you have, I don't think your code, I think your code, you will be able to normalize it once you have all these things put in the world, but I feel like they need to just go in the world. Almost like, a, like you know, water coming through, shh, like super intense, just let it all out, put it on the website. Don't worry about having a perfect grip. Don't worry about mm -hmm. white space. You will naturally be able to dive into balance because here you had like these two heavy images. And also this is a, this is a heavy applique, like that really draws mm -hmm. the eyes, but you managed to find balance. So what mm -hmm. I would say is like, just go with all of it. And once you go through that exercise and put it out in the world, maybe the second version, of your website or of your portfolio you will normalize it and you will clean it up maybe not even but i feel like just bringing your truth your candor your ideas your story about the makeup it not you know just just bring it all on i think that there's this this fervor this need to bring it over and mm -hmm. and then you start classifying but but i wouldn't say don't worry about it just bring it all forward okay. how do you feel about that great yeah <laughs> yeah because i'm fighting for that because i see a lot of like portfolios or websites they're like super curated you know and everything seems so clean and i was like okay that's nice but you know i have to, so many things <laughs> so i don't Not really exactly so i think that would be great <laughs> and right now i'm like uh playing a lot with websites for clients so i want to like risk with mine you know and make more bold things you know because they you know they're like normal businesses but in my case i can go further so yeah, yeah and I so as a designer that you want to present yourself in a clean way but i feel that mm -hmm. as artists and designers we're always going through this journey of understanding what we're doing analyzing what we're doing and if we don't have freedom in one project if we try to make it perfect it's gonna be it's i don't know it's like you're not gonna find truth and it sounds that you are 
an exploratory process. And also your parents are in an exploratory process at the same time. So it's almost like, how can you not be so serious because your photo is so serious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, so thank you so much for letting uh, us see your board. And <laughs> yes, uh, I look forward to see what you do next with yeah, we'll show you Energy. the results. <laughs> All right. So um, who would like to go next? Me, Egilda. Hola, Egilda. Hi. So, Hola. So, okay. So there were some comments on the chat. Um, eh, Leslie's stepping out. She has a commitment, um, but it's all good. And then Susan. Uh, says, I see nice geometry in each photo as a comment for Barbara. So that's, yeah, there's nice geometry in it, a lot of patterns. All right, so I'm going to share my screen again. And okay, so we're going to look for. There we go, Egila Rojas. <laughs> yeah. All right, so may I read your, your code? A second. <laughs> okay, uh, my English no is so good. <laughs> do you want me to do it in English and Spanish? I'm happy to do both. Okay, perfect. <laughs> uh -huh. Can I read, puedo leer tu código? Can I read your code? Sí. Sí, sí. okay, perfect. Edilda Rojas. What I love to do is I like to travel. Me gusta viajar. Eh, you, um, what you like about yourself. So we didn't, you didn't get to cover that question. Eh, eh, la segunda pregunta era, ¿qué te gusta de ti misma? Y pusiste brand, te pusiste maquillando. No sé si tienes alguna otra respuesta para eso. ¿Qué te gusta acerca de ti? Eh, and the third part is um, what you would like to bring into the future is I want to grow with my brand. ¿Qué quisieras crecer con tu marca? Eh, ¿Qué te gusta de ti misma? Bueno, eh, me gusta además de, de maquillar, eh, me gusta enseñar me gusta eh, de todos los conocimientos que, que he obtenido en maquillaje, en viajes que he realizado o en otros aprendizajes, pues transmitirlos a las personas. Me gusta este, eh, ayudar ¿no? a las personas en el ámbito personal también, ¿no? porque vemos que hoy día en este mundo como está, hay muchas personas con mucha depresión, y un sinfín de problemas, ¿no? Eh, como I'm going to start ahí para traducir. So she says that one of her favorite things that she likes about herself is her ability to teach, specifically um, to teach makeup, but she also likes to work with people and their energy because there's uh, a lot of depression in the world. ¿Verdad? Okay. Exacto. ¿Qué más que quisieras elaborar? Eh, yo diría que inicialmente eso y aparte de, de, de esta de este conocimiento pues eh, desarrollar mi marca personal yo digo que ese es mi gran reto por este momento mm -hmm. and and she said that she what she would like to bring into the future is to develop her own brand um, so it, were, I'm, I'm gonna ask her What's, what's her brand about? De, acerca de qué es tu marca. Eh, estoy maquillista. Uh -huh. eh, marca pues se refiere a, al maquillaje. Eh, a promocionar todo lo que es. El... No, pero en términos de valor. Le, ¿qué, ¿Qué representa tu marca? Tu, tu marca, la, la que vas a desarrollar. O la que ya estás desarrollando. Ok. 
representa la belleza externa y también interna. ¿Por qué? Porque de lo que yo siento por dentro, ya yo realizarlo por fuera, es lo que tú vas a, este, a exteriorizar, es lo que vas a proyectar. Realmente el sentido de mi marca no es solamente lo superficial, sino de lo interno hacia lo externo. Son ambas, ambas cosas a la vez. Uh -huh. So what her future of her makeup brand is that it's going to represent the inside match with the outside because you can only represent, yeah, the true beauty if you know what's inside. Okay. Y I'm going to ask her, where do you want to travel? ¿A dónde quieres viajar? But this question is not just about a country, but where in her life does she want to travel? Y esta pregunta no es a dónde quieres viajar, de a qué países quieres visitar, sino a dónde quieres ir en tu vida. Ok. Eh, en mi vida quiero verme, o sea, yo me siento libre. Ok, por eso digo viajar, porque el, el modo de viajar es volar, es ser libre y a través de eso, de esa libertad que tiene, proyectarla y transmitirla a esas personas que en su círculo están encerrados, ¿no? Y por eso eh, mi, la esencia de este viaje es eso, es viajar hacia la libertad. Uh -huh. eh, I'm, I'm, voy a traducirles. So she said that where she, she wants to fly, she wants to feel free. And um, she wants to inspire people to also be free. Um, can, I, can I go a little bit deeper? ¿Puedo hacerte unas preguntas más personales, más profundas? Sí. Uh -huh. it, she said, yes. Um, where are you from? ¿De dónde eres? Eh, soy de Caracas, Venezuela. Uh -huh. eh, Gilda is from Caracas, Venezuela. Um, how, I'm going to ask her, how being from Venezuela has impacted this concept of freedom? El ser de Venezuela, ¿cómo ha impactado este concepto de libertad que, tienes, que quieres desarrollar en tu marca? Eh, ha sido limitante porque por la situación de Venezuela, eh, por lo menos en el punto de vista de identidad personal, es difícil obtenerla. Y eso ha hecho a no poder viajar libremente como lo hacía anteriormente. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to translate that. So she said that being from Venezuela, um, she has not been able to travel freely as she used to. And uh, that has been a difficult part of, you know, of her situation at this moment. And that she wants to bring that hope and that freedom into the brand. Eh, that's, that's beautiful, Edila. That's, eh, where are you right, where are you right now? ¿A dónde estás ahorita? Ahorita estoy radicando en, en Panamá, en la ciudad de Panamá. Tengo aproximadamente, voy para seis años de vivir en esta hermosa ciudad. Uh -huh. So, um, Edilda has been living in Panama for the last six years. You haven't been, been to Venezuela. No has ido a Venezuela, ¿verdad? In seis años. No, no he ido. She hasn't been to Venezuela in six years. So, um, I think what's really coming through me, creo que lo, que lo que me está viniendo de tus imágenes is the strength from, from the forest and from the greenery, and from the, you know, for the journey. Lo que me está, en estos momentos, con lo que me estoy conectando, no es con, es con el verdor, pero no hacia donde tú vas, no el, no el, no el lugar final, sino la travesía, el viaje. And um, also the green is, the green is very prominent here today, el, el color verde at different tones. Like you see Barbara's, last session there was a lot of pink. This session, eh, en la sesión anterior, eh, había mucho rosado. This session is, it's dark green, bright green, and also a lot of gold. So I think that there's an element of like glam, but also a lot of earthiness. And 
and you know you eh, sí como de mucho verde eh, de glamour del dorado eh, también la línea also the the lines that separate the roads you know going backwards and forwards that is not a one way street eh, las, las líneas amarillas de, de, de la carretera, ¿no? Que separan las dos direcciones. But maybe there is an inner connection of, tal vez hay una eh, conexión entre el ir y el venir, que es parte de viajar. You know, you don't just go to one place. No es que solamente vas a un lugar, regresas. Eh, Exacto. Y creo que... Eh, Creo que hay muchas cosas muy interesantes con los colores dorados, tu cabello es dorado, pero también con los verdes y con esta línea. So, uh, yeah, I feel like there's a lot here in her brand of the going back and forth in the journey of the deep greens and the gold. Um, and also, y también, the shapes of the ceiling, they feel very Givenchy. Se sienten como muy Givenchy, so it has that... Or, or also the Versace, um, it has that glam, tiene ese, ese glamour, pero también ese earthiness, and that earthiness. So, and bringing, bringing those things together could be interesting for your brand. No sé si tienes alguna otra pregunta o al, al, algún otro, algo que quieras compartir, que quieras discutir más. Eh, bueno, eh, nada más eh, 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 compartirles una experiencia. Eh, la relación del verde con el dorado se relaciona mucho conmigo porque como he tenido la oportunidad de... Oh, déjame traducir, déjame traducir. That she said that she would like to share something because uh, the relationship between green and gold for her, dale. De conocer culturas, eh, modas de diferentes países, eso me ha hecho tener ideas, volar y, y, y proyecta en mí esas ideas para plasmarlas en mi marca. Mm -hmm. So she feels that the color green and the gold eh, communicate freedom for her or inspire her freedom and eh, she feels that she, will, she, she could translate with those colors into her own brand. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Me gusta, me gusta y te agradezco mucho por tu asesoría. Sé que es distinto, es diferente porque es como es y no es, pero esa es la idea, esa es mi, la esencia para poder este, tener el norte de lo que yo deseo sobre esos polos que son opuestos para unirlo. Yeah, she thinks, she feels that for her to bring a makeup line that has, you know, this earthiness, this spirituality, and this gold, and this glamour is an opposite a poles, but also where the interesting space and where she's at, like she's very glam, but at the same time, she's also very earthy and very connected and spiritual. So, um, excelente, muchas gracias. Yes, I, yeah, I hope, I, this is really cool. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you. All right. Eh, vamos con el siguiente. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to see who else, eh, if there are any comments in the chat, no comments in the chat, who would like to go next? If there's anybody who has a code. Eh, Jamie, okay. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so let's look for Jamie's. All right. So, so Jamie put, Jamie, can I, can I read it? Yes. Okay, great. It's interesting that you have Jamie idea code. And he says, traveling and being creative with friends. I am a, a, what you like about yourself is that you are self-created and brave. And what you would like to bring into the future is I, would, I bring confidence, power, and something to say. So 
I think the first thing that is really coming through in these photographs is performance, is gesture, is it's basically like you with the computer, I don't know what you're doing. The lotus flower is in total, you know, in a very, very direct pose when you're in the boat with your friends or, and with your, it's, it looks like your art posse, you know, it's, it's, it's very deliberate. Also the green, <laughs> I think mean, we have a theme here today with the green, <laughs> the green is so strong and the reds. So green jade, almost turquoise, red, and pink. And also the sense of humor. Also the red on your on your on your sweater. And here. There's a lot of dynamic, a lot of power, but a lot of like, yeah, a lot of action. How do you feel about that? I, I love this. Sounds accurate. <laughs> um, it, what are you, what do you want to build, Jamie? <laughs> um, what do I want to build? Uh, I want to, I want to build, um, literally like a community space um and uh where people can kind of like experiment um and i also i want to build like my own happiness and kind of um pr protection of myself yeah uh, that's coming through with the lotus. Um, what pisses you off? Woo! <laughs> um, well, um, today I've been thinking a lot about um, Julian Assange being um, in this fucked up mock trial, um, and pardon my language, and basically like WikiLeaks being like the, the founder of WikiLeaks being essentially going to be like put in prison for the rest of his life uh, when that was the purpose of WikiLeaks was exposing the uh, injustices of the world. So I guess like injustice. In this, thanks for sharing all that. I know it's like, I just felt I had to go there but I just feel that there is this need to communicate in your photo. It's like, it's like you're using art, you're using healing, you will use whatever tool to communicate. And this sense of need that even your, like your hand. So um, if it feels that you can do it with, fun with grace with energy um yeah i'm excited to see what you will build where would you build it that community um somewhere uh where we don't have to pay any rent <laughs> wherever wherever we don't have to pay rent and it's gonna happen well um I'm excited and it's very clear that you are the person that can make this happen. It's like, you will talk anybody into this. <laughs> it's, it's very clear and also the directive of the images. Where, can you talk about that image of where, where you guys are in the boat? Yeah, um, so this is my art collective. Um, What's it called? Flux Factory. Mm -hmm. um, it's a space and a collective and uh, we went to Denmark to just be silly like professional silly people like doing performance and um, 
we found this boat <laughs> in a river. It was broken and we fixed it up and made these flags and posed in it and someone photoshopped us into the ocean. And I love them all and like trust them all deeply. And we were basically just having the time of our lives. Mm, when was that? That was 2011. Mm, so it's been a while. 12, that was 2012, yep. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, um, so a place that you don't pay rent. So you basically you're looking for somebody to donate a home. Or um, to take a space that is not being used and make it useful. What is your ideal place for that? Berlin, probably. Um, or there's also this um, squatted forest in France where they're like basically creating structures in the middle of the forest. Um, but probably, yeah, I'd like to do it in Berlin. Mm. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's very clear that there's some sort of kingdom, queendom here. So maybe I would suggest defining where the ideal queendom will be. Thank you so much for, for sharing your images. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Um, who else will want to, will want to go over their image? We have Paula. We have also Johanna. I don't know if you will leave me. Paula? Yes. Hi, Paula. ¿Cómo estás? I can't hear you. Hola. Hola. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's go with yours. Um, okay. And thank you, everybody who's in IG. All right. Uh, I'm going to share my screen. There we are. So, Paula, where are you right now? Uh, I'm in Colombia. Which part of Colombia? The capital, Bogota. In, oh, nice. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I don't know how to say that. Uh, I was born here, I guess. <laughs> All my life I've been living in Bogota, but Diana and I met in, in Italia, in Milan, mm -hmm. uh, when I was studying there. And then I came back to Bogota, and now I am here because of the pandemic, because of the COVID and all that. Yeah, it's great to be, it, it was great to meet you when we met. Yeah. Can I read your code? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so Paula Martinez code. Uh, I love to learn new things, design, draw, to sew, to create and share with others. Um, what you love about yourself is your ability to mutate with the environment and what you would like to bring forward is uh, my roots, my culture, and my identity as a woman. Although there's so much color, the first place where I'm going is for the black and white photo. It feels very melancholic. It feels that there is this longing there. Um, and I don't know if it's Colombia or if it's the craft or if it's all of it. Eh, la última, sí. Te puedo hablar en español, de pronto. Claro, claro. Y yo les traduzco. Mm -hmm. She wants to do it in Spanish, and now I'll translate. Mm -hmm. eh, sí, la última, de hecho, eh, fue una puesta en escena eh, cuando estaba acá en la universidad en Colombia, y eh, hay muchos elementos de mi abuelita, y mi mm -hmm. abuelita es como la que más, eh, en cuanto a diseño, o mi que hacer como diseñadora, como que la que más de la que más he tomado elementos. Claro. Entonces, Déjame ella... traducir para que no sea tan largo, eh, para darle los... So, she said that the right um, image, the one that I was commenting in, was a staging that she did in, 
in when she was in University of Columbia and uses a lot of things from her grandmother. Ajá, dale. Y, y ella, ella cose y hace ropa, o sea, todavía está viva. Y digamos que... Her grandma, her grandma sews and makes clothes. Ajá. Y eh, en, en ese momento y hasta ahora como... Eh, la línea o el discurso empezó a centrarse alrededor de género, ¿no? De mi identidad como mujer y cuál era mi relación eh, con, con mi identidad, o sea, de dónde salía mi identidad como mujer y era eh, la ropa y a raíz de mi abuela y de las mujeres que 70% cosen. Ajá. So, she said that in this installation, she was exploring her identity as a woman and of the 70% of women who sew uh, and that make clothes and that wear the clothes and this womanhood and femininity in this process in Colombia. Sí, y siento, ajá. Eh, sí, y ese es el discurso como oh, donde encontré también mi identidad como diseñadora, eh, como lo que traigo a colación y porque decidí en algún punto empezar a estudiar diseño porque igual ninguna es diseñadora eh, y la mayoría de mis familiares estudian otro tipo de profesiones. Ajá. Y and and part of her the discourse of her of her piece in this installation was why she wanted to be a designer because the women that sew in her family they're not they're not designers they just make clothes and where was her identity into all this, into just making clothes versus being a designer? Okay. Eh, ¿Algo más que quieras agregar? Eh, eh, de pronto, bueno, ahorita yo estoy, eh, terminé mi, mi, mi pregrado en Colombia. Eh, mm. Estoy terminando la doble titulación con Milán. Y el tema central es el género. O sea, digamos que el discurso se trasladó no a, al producto que es eh, eh, una prenda de vestir, o sea, digamos como, sino eh, a lo que significa el género para mí y cómo quería eh, dar ese discurso hacia mi profesión. Entonces, ahorita son herramientas eh, para hablar de género en espacios educativos. Digamos que ese es el tema en el que, por ejemplo, se centra mi, mi mm -hmm. trabajo de, de grado. ¿Cómo ¿Y tu, rescatar? Tu, ¿Y tu título es en diseño de modas o en produ diseño de producto? No, el de Colombia es Product Design y el de Milán es Communication Design. Ok, so, uh, okay, so I'm going to try to summarize because there's a lot of amazing good things here. Um, so, she, she was in Milán doing uh, communication and in Colombia she's doing Product Design, so she has a double major. Uh, and right now, where her work has gone, where her thesis work has gone, is in the exploration of, John, uh, of um, identity and, uh, ¿cómo se dice género? Uh, gender. Gender and gender. And being able to understand women in, 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 in this whole picture of how clothes are made. ¿Dirías que eso es correcto? Eh, sort of, I mean, like the, uh, the, the, the final or, or my final project for the product design uh, thesis work was a kit, a, a gender kit, like a tools made uh, from design to talk about gender in schools. So that's, mm -hmm. that was my, my project for product design, no? Uh, and, 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 I, I was I, I really wanted like to talk about gender uh, in Colombia or in my school because it's not a, it's not a subject that is like being a really touch. I don't know if I'm being like clear with my English. Yeah, and then, uh, for communication de design, um, I also have a scholarship, uh, so I have to do a project for the scholarship, and it's about like working with uh, with women and and uh, through these tools that I created, no? From design, like to, to be able to translate a, a gender or my history as a woman and my identity uh, into a product. 
So that's what I'm like working right now. Yeah, so Paula, something really interesting from your images is that you are behind the mesh. Yeah. Okay. But then on the farther right uh, in here, it, everything is totally open. When you are making or when somebody's sewing, it's almost like, it's almost genderless. Or, or not even genderless because this image is here. This feels very feminine. It reminds me of my grandma, my mom, all these people sewing. But I think that there is a dichotomy here between being shielded and being totally open. And um, I wonder where you are in those spaces. Uh, so <laughs> I, I must talk a little bit because uh, uh, all these things uh, uh, with the COVID and the pandemic here in Colombia, there has been like uh, rough and tough here in Colombia. Mm -hmm. um, even though I mean uh, like a comfortable place, I mean, I, I I haven't been struggling a lot. Uh -huh. I know that a lot of people uh, that surround me or around me it has been like um, with a lot of problems. So uh, because of the of the of the of the pandemic and all, I had like to stop with so many plans. I wanted to come back to Italy, for example, uh, to finish my thesis there. So now I'm doing everything here. Um, but I, I want to work with my community and my country and share like that knowledge in other places. So like, um, I don't know how to say it. I, I'm stuck here. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm waiting for things to be more open here yeah. and to be able to uh, work with uh, other women, women for example, okay. like to start like to do these projects uh, and not everything uh, from the screen. No? And, and another thing that is happening to me is that I have another job and I am a little bit like Barbara that I'm doing like websites and the and communication and stuff and, and uh, graphic design and stuff that it's a little bit far from what I want mm -hmm. right now, but it's yeah. because of the needs, no? And so, and also I was doing my portfolio, my portfolio, and I finished, but it's like a mix of pieces and, and things that are like so far away from each other. So I, I, for example, I think that I need to do like three kind of portfolios, each one, I don't know, one with product design, one with, a, I don't know, like a creativity yeah. and gender um, so line. Another another one with another one with graphic design. So it's I don't know. <laughs> so I think what's really coming through the images that are in your code right now is this layer, this in between, this thing that you are behind. When you, and also there's a lot of rigor. Everything is everything is um I don't know, hold on one second. So everything is, everything is very compartmentalized. So I wonder how everything could be a little bit more integrated because you're not gonna get a perfect answer, but definitely the image that has the most depth, is the one that has your installation that has three dimension so for the time being how can you get into that space how can you bring the project to have that depth of space even if you do it through zoom even if you do it through whatsapp group to engage that community to engage that people and not be behind the mesh and not having so compartmentalized but more integrated and also it's about the image on the right is also about a, everybody working on their personal space. Into, it almost looks like you're working into somebody's bedroom or somebody's kitchen, right? It has that home 
vibe, whereas the other ones are more detached. So maybe in your code at this moment is looking for that space of openness and maybe when there's no structure when things you know you spoke also about the women not not doing sewing because they're a designer but doing sewing because that's what they do so how can you bring that and that's what's beautiful about your project to bring it forward it's like this is just what we do and you do, and your project doesn't have to have this big structure yeah i i think that the idea of being behind is also like uh, the idea of non not wanting mm, to be like the protagonist of the projects but letting people or letting like the wom women that work with me or i mean take me as a tool for the, their needs yeah and, and that's what yeah. i want like with the project i mean for example like the the thesis of of the um, the gender kit uh, I was like, this is like an open uh, code project. So everyone can download the information and use it um, in like in their schools, for example. Sure. Uh, so uh -huh. yeah, sure. I think that's, and also I get what you uh, say about like being all like um, differenciado, los mm -hmm. compartimentos. Mm -hmm. Yes, eh, de pronto. Um, Let me translate because she, she says that she knows what I mean by being so compartmentalized. Um, there's, there's a lot here. Eh, the one thing I want to say is that males in fashion have not had a hard time coming forward because ultimately it's about moving forward the project. So I think moving forward the project may involve you having your face in the forefront and i think that's okay yeah because that's how you bring other people forward not when you hide so so this is we can talk more at length but also and i know that we are at time but also there is there's the Johanna code. Um, and I don't know if, let me, let me just go back. Thank you so much, Paula. And if no. you want, we can talk more yes, offline yes. about it. Um, <laughs> so hold on one second, I'm gonna stop sharing. Um, so are you guys comfortable going a little bit longer for Johanna? Good. Excellent, all right. I'm very excited now, now I'm like nervous or really <laughs> it's so deep. Okay. All right. So Johanna, may I read your code? Yeah. All right. Johanna Schwab. I love learning the guitar and I want to continue. I want to have more self-made music in my life. Best would be to play together. That's what you love doing yes mm -hmm. um, what you like about yourself is i like the way i am when i'm very relaxed fun creative and friendly and i want what you want to bring in the future is that i want to continue working with my love for details for handmade fringes and stitches so There is a lot here for me. <laughs> so I feel the, I can't deny the green because that's it's so, <laughs> Diana, it's so funny because just two hours ago, I was thinking about green. Um, so it's amazing that it was a motive throughout today too. Yeah. Um, something that is super strong is this photo on the right is very sensual is very uh, i don't know if that's you but there's no bra there's the mud there is the fringes 
there's the eye on the belly button, there's muddiness and kind of everything and nothingness, movement, everything. There is muddiness and nothingness. I'm going to write that down now. <laughs> That's nice. And there's the pinks, the reds, like the, the surface behind it, it the stucco or, or the brick that you have behind, um, the layer on the shirt, like the embroidery in it. It's... Um, there is a lot of depth here. There is a lot of depth. Um, and I feel that what you say, that that's what you want to continue to continue to do. I feel that's, that's so obvious. Um, it might not be obvious to other people there's a lot of depth here. Lots and lots of depth. Um, I also love the softness of the other side. And you also have your photo, your, your code without your face. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel wrong. It doesn't feel wrong. There's like an ease here of the way that you like, what you like about yourself, because you're creative, fun, friendly. There's harmony in here. <laughs> um, uh. And also, not at first glance, but there's a lot of patterns. Is the pattern here, the pattern in the, in the carpet. There's a lot of rugs on top of each other. Very similar to this image. Is there's, there's a multitude of dimension. And also let me just say, because the neck, I was very, um, that was such a nice day because my cousin, when she was 12, she did that for me on a dress. She made the pattern. Oh, this one. But it's like the carpet, the rugs. That's... Um, um, what gives you sweetness? What gives me sweetness? And also, Diana, like, it's so amazing because I'm wishing for carpets in my life because that's my grandma's room. And I'm like, that's so crazy how subconscious works, like, with these photos. One is choosing, it's just crazy. And I just see it now, you know? Like, I just... Okay, okay so anyways, what gives me... What do you mean, like, sweetness? Maybe that's different how I understand it from coming from... Or having German yeah, mother tongue. I would say, like... What brings you joy? What makes you sweet? Because one of the things that you said is that what you like about yourself is you like the way you are when you are very relaxed. So <laughs> you relax. Yeah, it's like what brings ease? What brings sweetness? Like how do you get to be relaxed? And also, like, maybe relax means, uh, that's what I understand now, seeing it, like, being in the moment, um, which is, yeah, I think that's a challenge um, every day. But what relaxes me is definitely playing the guitar, like, just producing music is, like, uh, that, that, that blew my mind last year um, to start that again now as a grown-up because I did it already as a child, but it's so different now. <laughs> Uh, just like the, this intensity I feel like where there's a sound like filling that room so that's totally that's my, my that's something I love and I also like I think like 
what brings me joy is uh, planting or like that's because that's so funny that you said the mud because I wish for a, a little garden or some green where I can like like <laughs> have my hands in the in the mud and like plant stuff and some things. So being outside also like just walking the streets and not having to get somewhere uh, is something I love. Um, talking to friends, very concentrated. Yeah, be, and being playful in, in, um, in my art practice. What, what do you see for yourself? Um, that's, that, that's an interesting way to ask that question. Like, what do I see for myself? Whoa. And I'm going to tell you why. Because there's an I, an I. <laughs> <laughs> there's an <laughs> yeah because actually there's the, the yeah there's an I yeah there's an I too sure oh my gosh um it's so interesting because you ask see and not wish or so what do I see that's difficult no what do you see for yourself it could be easier but what do you see for yourself um I I see some kind of home. Uh, I see, like, and that's, that can be, yeah, I see some kind of home. Maybe I just want to leave it like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's a lot of ease use cursive. You know, there's harmony, there's balance. the art comes forward, comes first. It's big, it's bold, it's deep. Um, maybe play with the sizes of the images. Maybe the carpet comes bigger. Yeah, nice, nice idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like this is beautiful. I, I love your, I, I love the easiness of this. Lots of easiness, lots of depth. Yeah. Which sounds paradox, but I think that's life too. Or <laughs> like it's easy and it can be easy and deep. Yeah. Thank you, Diana. Yeah. Thanks for letting me um, go over your code. So I'm going to stop sharing the screen. And I know we're up for time. Um, we lost Susan. We lost Instagram, but that's okay. This was. Yeah really such a pleasure to be here and to to be with you guys and yeah i don't know if you guys want to say anything else about nobody's fashion week i'm so grateful that you guys gave the venue to experiment and to bring these ideas into this space so thank you yes thank you so much diana because it's just like in in one hour, approximately, we have another workshop that could be of interest for all of you being that open for these kind, like this self exploration, I think. I guess maybe Jamie, you can help me too. That the, the workshop is called Embodied Fantasy and I'm gonna put a link if you maybe have, um, wanna join that one too, I can highly recommend. It's like really like, uh, you're, like it's an imagination boost. And but also a grounding session. So I'm just gonna put it here in the chat. What time? Um, it's, sorry. It's 5 30. Mm -hmm. um, and with this link, you will also see like there's more programming going on on the next seven days. Um, but this one I think could totally fit like after what we did today. So that's why I highlighted it yeah the embodied fantasy the workshop that johanna's talking about is like it's such a treat it's a chance to connect with yourself to ground to meditate um it's really great and check out the rest of our calendar we only have a week left yeah. there's amazing stuff going on there's a film screening tomorrow um, that will blow your mind um yeah anyway 
Are you guys sending reminders? If you RSVP, like if you go into the website and just RSVP for stuff, we'll email you the day of to remind you that it's happening. And all everything will be archived on the website as well. So if you want to learn how to embroider or like catch up on one of the workshops that you missed, that's going to be there too. Excellent. Yeah. Well, um, thank you so much, Diana. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody. And yes, keep us updated and connect with Jamie and with Johanna because you guys are doing amazing projects in, the, in my part of the world, in our part, Colombia, Costa Rica, Venezuela, Panama, and Susan, thank you so much for witnessing. She's in New Jersey. Um, yeah, yeah, thank you guys. Have a great weekend. Diana, I just wanna say thank you for um, reminding me for like, I feel like this talk is like a life changer for me because <laughs> You know, it's, I'm always like, yeah, I'm opening a community space. I'm opening a community space. And I really appreciate the kick in the butt being like, okay, where? <laughs> Where's your community space? And I've just been chatting with my friend in Berlin and we're like, okay, we're going to do it now. So thank you. Come visit. <laughs> well, I want to go. You did it. You just put it on the board. Um, and I hope we can all go when, yeah. when the situation and yeah. yeah. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. Yes. All right. Bye, everybody. Ciao. Ciao. Abrazos. Bye.